Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is Pastor Nate. Thank you for joining me for the 12 noon Eastern time, Monday through Friday, healing, deliverance, and generalized prayer session. Uh, what I've decided to do is if people don't show up for a session or show up for the open session, because it is open to everyone, it doesn't matter where you were, are in the world, uh, let me try to screen share with you. So if you go to, for instance, uh, this is the deliverancerevolution.org website, and you go to online deliverance room, you see this link here. So you download that link and that puts the software on your desk or on your desktop or, or laptop or tablet as the case may be and join us every Friday, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. Now we do have uh, Lydia coming on board and she's gonna be doing a prayer session as well, probably later in the evening because she's in the West Coast. Uh, so we'll try to give you, you know, two prayer sessions a day. Uh, but during the 12 o'clock when if people don't show up, I'm gonna do a recording. So this is where you uh, download the software, by the way, while I'm here, you can access prayers. There are tons of awesome prayers that Father has given us over the years, me and Brother Demetrius, who's part of the ministry, Prayer to Receive Christ, um, list of worship music that Pastor Nate listens to, contemporary work, general curse breaking, prayer to break generational curses, door closing prayer, just goes on and on. Prayer to com combat demonic spirits, uh, applying the blood of Jesus, demon cleansing of your house, power prayer against sexual sin, prayer against sexual demons, Baal Peor, uh, just goes on and on. So that is a, a real gold mine back right there. Uh, if you're new to deliverance, you can take a test to determine whether you do need deliverance. Here's the contact us button. If you'd like to request one-on-one -on -one deliverance, you just click here. And of course you fill out just this brief form, name, email, phone number. And I like to have a message from you, what you need. Now, if you would like one-on-one, -on -one, I ask that you click here. Well, this is really for all of you. Please help us feed. The Deliverance Revolution does not charge, but we feed over 700 orphans and widows, and they are absolutely precious. Let me put on my glasses for this one. So when you come here, here's some information and pictures, but this is where you click. And we really need monthly gifts, even if it's just $50 or $25 a month. Monthly reoccurring revenue is what we need. It really takes $1,500 a month, bottom line, just to feed them. So that's 700 kids, three meals a day, okay? Three hot meals a day, seven days a week for a month. That's $3 per child. So if you just send $25 or $50 a month, do the math. You'll feed a bunch of children. And I've cut out all the middlemen, okay? So I went to Kenya, to Bagoma County, Kenya. I have a, an account with food brokers, and I buy the food directly from the broker, which is like one step below the grower, okay? So I've cut out all the big profits and middlemen. This is when they had jiggers. Look at the little precious guys. That cost us money. We need about 2000 a month to be able to keep shoes and clothes on them and things like this, combat jiggers in their feet. Please put on your Facebook account. Tell your friends, many of you have been very generous. Uh, some of you just popped in with three, four hundred thousand dollar gifts like it's nobody's business, okay? And that goes for the kids. Uh, we love one-time gifts, but monthly reoccurring revenue is what we need. So you've got to contact us. Please help feed the Kenyan orphans. If you want to send Pastor Nate a request for prayer, just go to the top, contact us and fill out the form. You'll figure it out once you get there. So online deliverance rooms down here. Okay, for those of you who are ministers want to do deliverance training, I've got a training manual. Where? Really ought to be a book. Brother Demetrius, inspired by the Holy Spirit, did a lot of work on right here. 120 page deliverance and healing book. Okay, we've also got a YouTube channel. It's got some great stuff in there as well. Alrighty, so folks today, since, like I said, it's, uh, well, it's five after 12, no one showed up yet. 
uh, what I may do is go ahead and do uh, a prayer on pride today and just start posting these ones. If somebody comes in, I'll probably discontinue and just do prayer with them because right now I'm recording this right this second. And I'll post this on the YouTube channel. Uh, so let's go to our teleprompter, folks. And uh, let me share screens with you. And you can see what I'm seeing. So, Father God, please open our minds. Everybody who's here on your end, uh, on your knees, please, folks, uh, humble yourself before the living God. Hands raised, repeat after me. If you can't get on your knees, stand up. If you can't stand up, sit down. Uh, but the point is to show respect to you, God. Father God, speak to us. I ask for your anointing of the Holy Spirit on this prayer and this entire session and what we're doing right now today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So here we go, folks. Dear Heavenly Father, now we come to you to acknowledge that we have sinned against ourselves by believing lies instead of what your word says about us. We renounce all unbelief. We have let the disappointment, the pain of disappointment or feeling like a disappointment to others influence our thoughts and our feelings. Your word tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in Psalm 139. Your word tells us we are not rejected, but we are accepted in the beloved, according to Ephesians 1.6. Your word says, <clears throat> I am blessed and not curse. Folks, let me interrupt myself. I should have gone slower so you could repeat after me. You know what? Let's just start over. Okay. I'm going to say a sentence, you repeat it. Dear, okay, stop. Dear Heavenly Father, repeat that. Now I come to you to acknowledge repeat that that I've sinned against myself by believing lies instead of what your word says about me excuse me I renounce unbelief you keep repeating it out loud, folks. I have let the pain of disappointment or feeling like a disappointment to others influence my thoughts and feelings. Your word tells me I am fearfully and wonderfully made in Psalm 139. Your word tells me I am not rejected but I am accepted in the beloved. This is said in Ephesians 1.6. Your word says I am blessed and not cursed. I am the apple of your eye. I have worth. I have value. For a long time, I have had a hard time believing that. Today I break any and all agreements with myself and Satan that have allowed spirits of rejection, self-hatred, a spirit of abandonment, fear, insecurity, inferiority, shame, bitterness, self-pity, and unforgiveness to manifest. You just keep repeating it out loud, folks. I renounce all of them, and I command them to leave me at once. Lord, help me to shut my ears to the enemy's unloving thoughts. They are not my own thoughts, but his. Father, I repent for allowing these things a place in my life. I thank you for forgiveness. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking my pain, my sin, and shame upon yourself 
so that I don't have to bear these things. I thank you that your blood and your word cleanse my conscience from unprofitable thoughts and renew my mind. Holy Spirit, forgive me for grieving you and not allowing your spirit to influence my thought life and actions. Please come heal my mind, my emotions, my spirit, and my physical body. Heal my disappointments, my hope, and my faith. Heal my ability to love myself and others. Help me see myself through your eyes and to walk in my true identity. Father, give me your love for others, but also to help me love myself and to appreciate myself in a healthy, healthy way. I come into agreement with God. I declare that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am loved, accepted, I am blessed by the Lord. I am surrounded with favor and grace. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Blessings are chasing me down to put themselves into my hands. I am a confident person because you've made me whole and complete. I lack nothing because the Lord is my shepherd and I do not lack. Therefore, I am in want of nothing. Everything that is available to Christ is available to me. Because I am a child of God, I have nothing to fear. Fear no longer has permission to bring torment. I embrace the grace you have provided through your sacrifice, Lord Jesus and your love and acceptance for me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I thank you for giving me the fruit of self-control in my thought life, and I ask you to empower me to live for God. Fill me with your fullness. I ask you for supernatural assistance to overcome negative self-talk, and I give you authority over my mouth and my actions. Help me overcome the areas of struggle in my life. You know what they are. I thank you for this victory in Jesus' mighty, gracious, and holy name. And now, folks, I want you just to Literally, raise your hand, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you did on the cross. Thank you for removing these things from me. Thank you that all these things were killed, dead, and buried when you beat death and sin on the cross and rose to heaven and sit at the right hand of God. Just say hallelujah once you say that. Praise you, mighty Jesus. See, the Bible tells us to put on a garment of praise, folks. Okay, so again, I'm going to go through these prayers, all right, on days when nobody's in the room. Uh, maybe I'll do this as a separate thing, but I'm going to go through all the prayers on the Deliverance Revolution site, but I want you to pray them as well. And folks, remember, the number one way to freedom, to deliverance and healing, is through intimacy with God. But those who do need physical healing, tell the relatives to join us here at noon, Monday through Friday. Eastern Standard Time. You can look on our YouTube channel, Deliverance Revolution, and you'll see many healings that Jesus has done all over the world with what the work he did on the cross. Jesus healed and delivered the exact same way. He just used his power and authority given to him by God, which he's passed on to us to command the enemy out. I love you very much, folks. I thank you for joining us on this little 
a short prayer today. Sometimes they're going to be long. Sometimes they're going to be short. Okay, I want to keep it short, but sometimes they're going to be long because the prayers are long. So we'll just go as the Lord leads us. But join us every day right here with Pastor Nate at uh, 12 noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. God bless you, folks. We love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Talk about Jesus and the good things he's done. Fling wide these gates, let's see his kingdom come.